case of Andrew Hossack sounds like it was straight out of a Gothic novel. Aberdeen, 1809, a burly stonemason was arrested for robbing a house in Rubislaw. Yet when word of his impending execution spread, rumours began to fly that he was responsible for a brutal murder 12 years previously. In the wilds of Ruthven near Kearney stood Ochanahi Castle, home of Thomas Gordon. Aged George Milne was a tenant farmer to the Gordons. In 1797, the bodies of George and his daughter Margaret were discovered after neighbours found their croft on fire. The Milnes had been hacked to death, apparently by a bloody axe which lay beside them. The only clue to the killer or killers were two shoe buckles found at the scene. Fast forward to the execution of Hossack in June 1810. He makes his final confession before the Catholic priest, Father Charles Gordon, that he had nothing to do with the murder. He also signed a statement claiming total innocence. But was there smoke to the rumour of the Milnes' fiery demise? I, Andrew Hosack, at present under sentence of death in the jail at Aberdeen, do hereby declare in the presence of the Almighty God that I was not directly or indirectly concerned in the said murder and that I know nothing whatever of the perpetrators thereof. Aye, I can sign that. Hmm. Now surely that Halley racket and more will leave me alone. I was never acquainted with Achenachie. You wouldn't leave me alone. You shed innocent blood. She was high teasing me, you see. Oh, God. The fluid in my heart she was. Your heart is black as coal. You just know. Why are you tormenting me? Why? I never can. Andrew Hosack, the stonemason, is not a murderer. Andrew Hosack, the farm servant, did. No. This, this is my blood which you shed. No. I'm an innocent man. I am. No. 